before I came to Turner, it was about eight years okay. from getting the real, the deep training okay. and application and learning and training. It was, yes, yes. it was a good, good chunk of, of for relatively speaking, right? So for the San Antonio office, it, the last, not the last, the second to last project where I actually got to test it from the project that I took on from the beginning to end um, was the biggest plumb and scope we had done to that, to date back then, right? We were mechanical contractors, so we didn't just do plumbing, but on this project specifically, all we had was the plumbing scope. Um, and it was the biggest plumbing project that, that the group had done at the time. And because I loved it so much, I had the opportunity to begin, I became the, the lean champion for the San Antonio group and, and started, I was responsible for training uh, our teams. Um, we, we used the Vallejo system to, to, to train the last planner and connect all the pieces. Um, and I, that, was, that was a favorite part of my job, but so that wasn't my job, right? That was like a side job, um, the training and all that good stuff at that point in time. There, there was one other uh, electrical contractor that was doing their lean stuff. And I would say they, they, they had a pretty good handle on it a better handle on it than we did that, that's my observation the rest a common thing. it will oh no <laughs> you know that was one of the things so once i got out of the superintending and, and further and further, deeper and deeper into the office it became a question like who's going to be on that project and they would say x i'm like Eesh. and then they'd say why i'm like oh man this is going to be good we need to meet with those guys and because we speak the same language and we can leverage that to help us maintain flow on the project as opposed to getting pitted against each other and all because that's kind of what it felt like. So the, my typical answer it's continuous improvement by minimizing waste and I start there because it's a big gigantic question uh, and and the intent is one if they're just kind of asking in a defensive type mood it stays there um, and but if they're really curious and interested it leads to deeper questions